welcome back everyone so today i will be showing you that how you can use your android phone as a pc or laptop speaker for absolutely free and this can be really useful for the people who don't have any kind of speaker connected to their pc or who have any kind of laptop with a very low sound but before you starting guys make sure that hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all these useful videos notification and you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem all right so you will have to come to this website on your pc and laptop and the name is audio relay and it says stream audio between your devices and if you scroll down a bit you can enjoy two different options here like you can use your phone as a microphone for pc or you can use your phone as a speaker for pc all right so this is another option that you can enjoy and again if you scroll down a bit so you can apply this step using the Wi-Fi and even through the USB. So I will be explaining you both the method. So first you will have to download this audio relay on your computer. So click on the download button. Now it gives you three operating system, Windows, Linux or Mac. I'm using Windows here so I will click on Windows. But in case if you want to enjoy this on your Linux machine or Mac, then you can download for your operating system. So you need to click on download and it's around 68 MB so it won't take much time and once it get downloaded you will have to install it and this kind of a small dashboard will be coming up. Now here on the very right in top you will find your computer name with the IP that we will be needing in the next step. Alright so now next what you have to do bring up the play store on your android phone and in the play store you have to search for audio relay application and this is the one that you have to look for. So download it, install it and once installed you have to tap on open. And this kind of simple box will now be again coming up. So first we will start with the Wi-Fi method and for that you need to make sure that your phone and your PC or laptop are being connected with the same Wi-Fi network. So once it's being connected, now here in your mobile phone application you have to look for the option that says connect by address. And here you have to enter the IP address of your PC or laptop. Alright, so in order to find that, go to your desktop application. And on the right in top, you can see the IP address. And on the very top, I have the IP that I need. Okay, so type the same IP address. That is 192.168.1.13. So once you have entered the IP, simply you will have to tap on connect. And it will be quickly connected. Now on my PC application, you can see that my phone manufacturer name is displayed under the connection name that indicate that my phone is successfully connected to my PC and laptop. Alright, so now you are done and good to go and play any kind of music. So let me quickly bring up my music folder. And this time if I play the music. So you can see that my phone is playing as a speaker now. And now let me bring up this Android phone close to my mic so that you can listen that my phone is playing the audio now. Alright, now in case if you have any trouble connecting or playing the audio on your Android phone, then what you can do on the right hand side, you will find the audio device section. And here you have to click on this speaker. From here, in the output device, you can try switching the output device. Okay, sometimes it doesn't play with the virtual speaker, so you will have to click the default one. So you can try switching between them and see which one works for you. Alright, now additionally, what else you have to do? The media player through which you are playing the music, make sure that its volume has been selected to high to get the maximum volume. And you can also adjust the volume from the audio relay application on your desktop. So you can decrease or increase the volume from here as well. And now anytime if you want to stop the connection, so on your mobile phone only, you will have to tap on stop. And the connection will be ended now. And now let's see that how you have to use the USB method. So connect your mobile phone to the PC or laptop using the USB cable. And once it's been connected, now what you have to do, you need to make sure that the USB tethering option has been enabled from your mobile phone settings and even from the audio relay setting. So on your Android phone, look for the setting option. Just tap on it. 
and here you have to scroll down a bit and you will find the usb tethering option make sure this option has been enabled once enabled now bring up the mobile settings and then you have to look for the personal hotspot or the mobile hotspot in case if you don't find in the home page then you can go in the connection and sharing and here you'll find the personal hotspot tap on it and here you have to now look for the usb tethering option so just tap on it to enable it and once it will be enabled you will notice that on your pc audio relay application the new ip has been appeared all right so now this time again if i go back to my audio relay application and go to the player section so again i have to tap on connect by address and this time i have to type this ip that is for the usb teeth ring and then you have to tap on connect and now you can see that your mobile phone has been again connected to your pc and laptop all right so again you can play the music and it seems that the usb connection seems to be more powerful as there is not any kind of interruption not any kind of lag okay so you can try and test both the method and hopefully guys you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any kind of question related to this video then you can let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye